Hi guys, I have a video for you today called Advanced Distributive Property 1. And basically it's taking what you know about the distributive property, what you learned back in sixth grade, and it's adding a little more to it, making it a little more advanced. There's going to be two of these videos because there is so much to cover with the distributive property. So for this video, the purpose is to use the distributive property to write equivalent ex expressions. And um, this video is focusing on going from factored form to expanded form. What you're going to need is a pencil and a piece of paper. So just to review, factored form is where you have um, a number on the outside of the parentheses being multiplied by some uh, value, two different values that are being added together inside. And then the expanded form is where you take that number from the outside and distribute it. That's where the distributive property part comes in to the two numbers that are on the inside. So 5 times 4, that goes here, plus 5 times 3, and that goes over here. And then you can solve that. I could either solve it over here by saying 4 plus 3 is 7, and 5 times 7 is 35. Or I could solve it this way by saying 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 3 is 15, and 20 plus 15 is 35. So either way, I get the same answer. So that just kind of proves that they're equivalent expressions. Okay, so let's just practice a little bit. I'm going to have you rewrite and simplify some expressions down here. Uh, hit pause, do your rewriting and simplifying, and then hit play when you're ready to see the answers. So here are the answers. This should be review for you. Here's the answer to problem number one. Simplified, it is 30. And problem number two, simplified, you get 100. Okay, so to take that a little bit farther, uh, we're going to talk now about what happens when there's a variable in the expression. So here's an example that has a variable out front. And really, it's quite straightforward. All you do is the same thing that you did when there was a number out front. You take what's out front and distribute it or multiply it by both of the values that are within the parentheses. So you end up with x times 4 plus x times 3. And we know that that's uh, typically written as 4x. This is typically written as 3x. And then to simplify, we just combine like terms and call this 7x. Okay, uh, now your turn. Time to rewrite and simplify some expressions of your own. So here is problem number one and problem number two. Okay, here are the answers to those two problems. You end up with 15a as an answer for practice problem number one and 140b as an answer to practice problem number two. So moving right along, another set of examples of what you can do with the distributive property what happens if you have a variable inside the parentheses somewhere? You can see in example number five, the first term in the parentheses has the variable. In example number two, the second term in the parentheses has the variable. But really, uh, it doesn't matter which one has the variable, you solve it the same way. You take a value that is outside the parentheses and distribute it to the values that are inside the parentheses. So in this case, you get 5 times 4x, that's what I have here, plus 5 times 3, and that's what I have here. 5 times 4x is 20x, because remember that's really like saying 5 times 4 times x, and 5 times 3 is 15. So this is in simplest form. We can't combine any more like terms, so that's simplified. Example number four, same kind of thing. We're going to take what's outside the parentheses and distribute it. That's the five times four, which equals 20. And then we take what's outside the parentheses and distribute it again. And that's the five times three X right here, which is like five times three times X. That simplifies to 15 X. So this, is in simplest form. That would be the solution for that problem. Now it's time for you to do a little bit of practice. So rewrite and simplify these two expressions, please. And 
here is the work and the answers for those problems there. Okay, so moving right ahead, what happens if you have something outside of the um, parentheses that has a variable in it? And still, straightforward enough, you're going to take the value outside the parentheses and multiply it by each of the values inside the parentheses. Keeping in mind that you are not splitting up the 2 and the x. These are kind of coming together as one term. So you take the entire 2x, bring it over and multiply it by 4. That's this 2x times 4. And then you take the entire 2x and bring it over and multiply by 3. That's this 2x times 3. You can see where I've worked it out over here on the uh, right side of the equation. 2x times 4 is the same as 2 times x times 4, and that can simplify to 8x. And 2x times 3 is the same as 2 times x times 3, that simplifies to 6x. 8x plus 6x equals 14x. Or, over here you can see I've simplified in a different way. I combined what was in the parentheses first, combining like terms, and I got 2x times 7 and that equals 14x. So again, just proof that those are equivalent expressions. Okay, time for you to do some practice. I'd like you to rewrite and simplify those expressions. And here is the work and the answers that go with those practice problems. Okay, and one final bit of practice, um, or of explanation I should say, is what happens if you have a longer expression and there's something added. Up here, we talked about what if there's something multiplied. Down here, what if there's something added? So the difference is that the distributive property is not going to apply to this nine plus or this five plus. It's only applying to what's being multiplied by the values that are inside the parentheses. So up here, this entire term was like a unit. Uh, this came together and was being multiplied by each of these terms inside the parentheses together. That is not the case when you have addition. So in this case, we would just multiply the 5 by each of the terms inside the parentheses and then add on the 9. So you can see that I've rewritten that. I just left the 9 plus alone and I rewrote the um, factored form of this expression over here in expanded form, 5 times 4 plus 5 times 3x, and then I've gone through and combined like terms. Same thing down here at the bottom, I have just brought over the 5 plus as it is, now I'm not really done anything to it in relation to what's going on in the parentheses here. I only distribute the 5 that was outside of the parentheses. 5 times 4x, that's this part, plus 5 times 3, that's this part, and then I've simplified.